We are getting ready to start a unit of poetry in language. We will be reading and talking about poems and writing some of our own. And it's always my favorite thing to do every year in language, so I hope you are going to enjoy it too. So today I just want to read a few fun poems for you so you can um, have some experience just reading and enjoying poetry. So this one is called What If? What if you opened a book about dinosaurs and one stumbled out? And another, and another, and more and more pour until the whole place is fumbling and rumbling and groaning and moaning and snoring and roaring and dinosauring? What if you tried to push them back inside, but they kept tromping off the pages instead? Would you close the covers? What would you do? Would you want to play with the dinosaurs, or would you shut the book and trap them back inside? <laughs> okay, see if you can guess. This is kind of a riddle. See if you can guess what this is about. Who? Who lives inside a house that doesn't have a door? It doesn't have a window or light inside. What's more, who lives inside a house with walls so frail and thin that when he once comes out, he cannot go back in. Think of what that would be. I will give you a hint. We are studying about it in science. The chick. Is, this a house, is an egg a house without a door or a window? Are the walls frail and thin and once he comes out, he can't go back in? Okay, this book is A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson, and this was a gift to me by Lucy's brother when I had him in first grade. It has the most beautiful pictures. And it's springtime. I'm going to read you a couple of weather-related poems. Okay, this child is inside. It's a rainy day, and the poem is called Rain. The rain is raining all around. It falls on field and tree. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Happy Thought The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. And this picture shows some of those wonderful things that we get to enjoy. Simple things. Kittens. This is a game of croquet. Have you ever played that? We have fruit on the table and flowers growing. The mom has a bird on her finger. Another kitten. Looks like maybe they had a tea party. What are some of your favorite things? This one's a little bit longer. It's about the wind. We've had a, some wind here lately. So let's read about this. Have you been out to fly a kite? The wind. I saw you toss the kites on high and blow the birds about the sky. And all around I heard you pass like lady skirts across the grass. Oh wind, a blowing all day long. Oh wind that sings so loud a song. I saw the different things you did, but always you yourself you hid. I felt you push, I heard you call, I could not see yourself at all. O wind a-blowing all day long, O wind that sings so loud a song, O you that are so strong and cold, O blower, are you young or old? Are you a beast of field and tree, or just a stronger child than me? O oh, wind a blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. Did you like the way that sounded? It sounds like a nice poem because it has rhyme and repetition. Those are a couple of things that are common in poetry, but they don't have to be. A poem doesn't have to repeat and it doesn't have to rhyme like the first two I read you. But it's nice when they do. Does this make you think about anything? Have you ever heard anyone say that 
God is like the wind. We can see what he's doing. We can see the effects of his actions. We can feel him, but we can't see him. Just like the wind, it says, I saw the things you did, but you yourself you hid. I felt you, I heard you, but I could not see you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those poems. We'll read some more soon.